Hey guys, American Eagle Hoarder Will here, uh, back again with another video. Um, as I was getting ready to bring out my main collection, which is all my American Eagles, I forgot that I had a few other things to show before I get to those. So, it's going to be a couple more videos, unfortunately, before I get to my, my, uh, my main collection. So today, I have all my bills. All the bills that I've been collecting um, just because I either like the serial number or out of rarity um, and I have some more um, off to the side here uh, that are dead last in this video so if you want to see the best stuff you gotta wait to the end um, I mean or you could skip to the end if you really want to but uh, these are some of the ones that like for example this pink folder my dad actually had collected and all they were were um, just sequential bills um, or or consecutive I, I don't know how you want to say it but all the serial numbers were in order um, so like this one goes from 421 all the way to 440 as far as the last three digits and they're just really crisp dollar bills um, so if you're like me and you like nice shiny or new things then crisp dollar bills or crisp bills has got to be on that list of things you, you might like to to like to see or to pick up at the bank which you can see these are flawless um, but it's just something my dad held on to and these are from 2009 I believe give me a second um, it's a little late in the evening so my eyes aren't working that great yeah 2009 um, and again, they're all consecutive or sequential or in series. Um, I wonder what, uh, now that I mention that, I wonder what you call it when all the serial numbers match. If you would put down in the comments what you call it. Um, sometimes I write sequential, sometimes I write consecutive. Um, just kind of wonder what you guys might, might put down. Um, so that's it for that folder. Um, and that one... I just hold, hold on to it because my, my dad made it a point to save them. Uh, this is my folder for my daughter. I plan on filling it with nothing but any bill with the, the year 2006 uh, um, or anything with 2006 in the, in the serial number. Why? I don't know. Just because I thought it'd be fun to leave her with, like, surprise her on her 18th birthday or whatever um, with a big, big envelope of cash or hopefully by then it'll be a lot more, but... Um, so far it's not that much squeezing it shut it's uh, it's only like $30 right now uh, I just recently started this within the last um, I don't know I started collecting anything 2001 all the way to now if they were really crisp but then I, I cashed them in uh, I'd say within the last month or so I thought about doing this so that's that's this little folder and then moving on, I have an older, well, two older folders for older bills. And um, one is mostly, I used to have all the den denominations in here. Unfortunately, it started taking over the folder. Um, there are 57 different bills in this one. And I'm not going to pull them all the way out, but they go from as, I wonder if you can see that on there. If you can pause it, you might be able to see that, but it should say... 63. Um, let me see if I can get it to. There it is. Let me turn this thing there. The very first one is 63, and it goes all the way to 99. Um, or maybe even, let me see. Yeah, 1999 is the very last bill. Um, I don't collect anything newer than 2001 except for 2006, as far as like because of their age. Um, only because you, you see them all over the place. 2001s, 2003s, not old enough for me. Um, but that's just from 63 to 99. I've got about uh, 57 bills in here. I used to have fives and tens, but I took them out. Um, it was just getting too cluttered. cluttered. So this one is my uh, fives, tens, twenties. And this one, I, I love the look of the older bills. I don't really care for the new bills. Um, but these are this one like from 1950 um and i'll just kind of read them off real fast because it's a small folder 
uh, 85, 85, 88, 88A, which um, 95, 2003A. I only kept this one because it was a slightly older model than what than the fives we have today. Um, so it was just a slightly older one. That's why I kept it. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have taken it out of there. Uh, and then I have a ninth. 1969 $10 bill. Uh, I think that's another one. Yeah, another 1969. Uh, 77A. What is that, 85? Yeah, 85. Sorry, my eyes are going to crap tonight. Uh, 1993. And then a slightly, uh, or a couple slightly older or newer ones. 1999. Uh, another 1999, uh, 2001, 2001, 2001, 2001, and then these are probably the, the oldest 20s I've ever had. These are both from 1950. I got these both at the same bank in the, on the same day at the same time. Somebody had turned them in. So I was like, well, I'm going to hold on to those. So they're, they're very beautiful. They're in great condition. Somebody collected these for a while. I don't think these have ever been folded. I think they just went right into the collection or into a folder, and that was it. So, but that's my older bills little folder. Um, kind of wondering if you guys collect older bills like this. If so, let me know. Um, oops, let me put that back. And then I have couple folders here of just some 2017 sequential bills um, just because I got them when I went to the bank um, this one goes from 11 all the way to uh, 411 to 440 um, it's 18 dollars single dollars all in order so I thought I'd hold on to them for now kind of like my dad did um, they're not worth anything more than I know of unless somebody's willing to pay extra for crisp bills um, and then in this one I got uh, three web notes which I found uh, while doing built or wait no one one web note I thought I had three in here I guess I do not hmm. I, I guess I, I don't know why I don't have the other ones but this is what they call a web note um, they were made in 88A, 93, and 95. Um, they tried a different printing process instead of printing sheets of bills. They, they had a roll, like a journal roll, had a cash, cash register. It was just a big spool of paper. And it ended up being less effective and just the quality was way less than the typical, the, the, the way they print them today. They, they tried it, tried to save some money, and ended up coming out with crappier printing quality. I don't know why I don't have three in here. I thought I did. While well, I'm thinking about it, I might as well see if I can find my pen real fast. There it is. And, uh, and change that to a one, because for some reason I thought I had three. Then I have my $2 bills, which most of the time I don't, I, I stopped collecting the newer ones. Um, I really didn't care for them. The newest one I have is from 95. So I kind of adopted the same the same theory, 99 or older only, unless it's a different design like 2001 and 99. Um, like I start off 1976, I believe. Yeah, 1976, 76. I, I almost think these are... Nope. I thought they were sequential. Uh, 76, 76, 76, 76, 76. I didn't realize I had that many 76s. 76, 76, 76. Jeez, I didn't realize I had that many. Uh, 95, 95, 95, 95. And the rest are all 95s. And somebody wrote on this one, but... I figure because it's older, I'll just keep it in the bunch. Um, but those are my $2 bills. 
if you collect two dollar bills let me know you know and if so what what years do you collect do you collect them all do you, do you give them as gifts to the grandkids or to the children or friends grandkids or the friends kids or whatever as like christmas gifts i used to get them at, for my grandparents a lot and i'll probably do the same thing when i whenever if i ever have grandkids um probably do the same thing give them as little gifts but i'll try and make them old and find the oldest ones and then this is my 2003 star notes unfortunately i've only found one so far and i've done all the the research to find out if these are um sorry that corner's bent um, if these are rare notes by looking up star, starnotelookup.com um, and I, don't, I only have found one that's even remotely rare and it was from 2013 or 2017 it was one of those two years but starting off in 2003 and then I have my 2009's uh, I only have two of those um, neither one of those are special or rare I should say and then, here it is. Um, there we go. Then I have my 2007, 2013, sorry, somehow I got in reverse order there. Um, I have 2013 star notes, which are quite a few. I found one with. 7447 for the number and unfortunately it's not even a rare note as far as the number goes in the, the, the print run but as far as it being a low number it's a rare one because that's pretty low in my opinion uh, and then all of these and I, I always put my bills in order by serial and by this zone number I believe that's what that number is signified for, what zone of the country these are distributed in. Um, but I collect them all the way down until I get to the fives and the, the tens, and I have one of each. And again, neither one of these are rare. They're just five, a five and a ten. Um, I like to collect them if I ever, uh, even though they're not like rare, I know there are people that like to buy star notes. I have yet to run into anybody that's, that likes to buy them. But if I do, um, or if my kids do, if I leave these to my kids and they find some company or somebody that likes to buy them, then they might uh, might be worth it for, for them. And then my 2017s, I can't remember which one it is, but uh, I got all my ones. And then I even have, oh no, no, I already took them out. I have, uh, I had a two hundred dollar bill star notes and two twenty dollar bill star notes, and I took them out because they weren't rare, and then I just needed to put them back in the bank. And uh, if they're not rare, the bigger bills like that, twenties and and fifties and hundreds, I don't keep because um, it's worth it to me to put it back in the bank more than it is to hold on to it, uh, as far as right now. But I went to the gas station. This one's very, uh, this one's sequential star notes that I found at the gas station. I went up there to get a coffee or a protein shake or something like that and the teller gave me change and it came with a, a two of these together and they were in sequential order and I was like oh my god they must have just went to the bank and got a stack of or just opened up a new stack of bills so I went back and I said can I get change for a, for a five? Um, and they're like, yeah, and they try to give me, like, change, change. And I said, no, 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 ones. Can you give me ones? And uh, I, know I don't remember how, how I got them, but I ended up getting all six of these in order. And uh, I thought that was the coolest thing to get, not only get star notes from a gas station, to, but to get uh, all sequential. So it goes 460, 461, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the other cool thing was they start at a zero and go to five. So it's not like some like it's starting in the middle of a of a of a number like three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It starts at zero and goes to five. So that 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 was kind of cool. And uh, I try to go back and get more, but they would not let me get any more ones off of them. So I got what I could get, and I figured out that in itself was kind of rare, and it was really exciting to find them for me. So 
Um, kind of wondering if you guys have ever found sequential bills like that or star notes. Um, if so, put it down in the comments. I'd love to read about it. And then um, the next thing on here is my silver certificates. A lot of people collect these or give them to grandkids again for, um, for whatever purpose. And as you can tell, right as my camera focused, this one here right off the rip is a star note. Um, this one is from 1957, Series B. Uh, I can't remember what that says. Is that 57 or 37? Hold on a second. Yeah, 57B Star Note 35, 35A, 57, 57, 57, 57, 57, 57, lots of 57s. Still going, 57A, again, yet once again, 57, oop, 57B, uh, and then it, uh, it moves on to $5 bills, uh, the Blue Seal, uh, 53A, 53A, 53B, and 53B, that's all my uh, Blue Seal uh, silver certificates. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. And uh, those were um, a few of these were given as gifts, and the rest I found uh, in my old uh, old bank. I found some in bank bank searches. And I think there was one or two in uh, some money that was found in my dad's stuff that was distributed out. Um, but a lot of these I find at the banks uh, when I do dollar bill searches. Um, the, the fives, I think I... I can't remember where I got the fives, though. Hmm. I'm just trying to remember where I got those. Then I like to con uh, collect binaries and trinaries. In other words, whenever the bill has two of the same number, or or three, or um, any time the bill starts to do a, uh, like a radar or a repeater, so like this one goes eight nine nine eight seven nine eight eight. So it's it's actually a trinary because of the seven. But it, had that seven been an eight or a nine, it would have been a binary where it would have been just eights and nines. Then you got 0920929, so another trinary, just three numbers. And we got 39993337. So again, a, bi a trinary almost a, 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 bi a trinary almost a binary. 85858485, almost a, a binary repeater off by one number. That would have been probably one of my favorite finds. Four four six four six four four one, another uh, trinary. Three six three three six six six. So this is the first binary of only two numbers that I have. Um, and that one I just recently found in a dollar bill hunt. Um, I have stopped collecting a lot. Like I was collecting two thousand sixes and two thousand seventeens. Um, area co uh, the with the number six and four. Um, I stopped collecting the sixes and have taken those back to the bank and now I only collect the fours. Um, and But while I look through the bills, I always look for just the lower numbers or certain key, key numbers. Like this one starts off with three zeros. Um, and then same with the second one. I think they all do. Uh, and even the $10 bill, they all start off with three, three zeros and then the number. So in the highest, it will ever be 99999 But I'm trying to, uh, if I can start finding four zeros, and then I'll probably return these back into circulation, and then uh, I just collect four zeros or higher, or lower, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, and that was 2009s and 13 lower numbers. And then I was doing... Quadruples, any bills with four for the same number in a row. So like this first one starts with four zeros at the end, four zeros at the end, four ones, four ones, four ones, four threes, 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 four fours, fours, 
fours, sixes, four sixes, four sixes, four more, six, four sevens, seven, four eights, eight, and so on. Then the nines, um, just because it, it's, you don't see it that as often as any of the other, just random numbers. Um, so I collect those, anything with quadruple or more, like quadruples are, uh, I want to say quint, quint, quintenaries, quint, quintuplets or whatever. Quintuplets sounds like babies, but uh, you get my point. Then I got my cool serial numbers, radars, and uh, $5 bills. So like the first one starts off almost a uh, radar, 9003, 8009. So it was almost 9003, 900. What if it had been an eight on, in the middle or threes? That would have been a radar. Uh, then we got 6,300, 6, 7,009. Um, I just liked that it, just the way it was laid out, so I kept it. Uh, 9376 9376 um, a repeater. Not not a radar, but a repeater. 10140101. Thought that was kind of cool. It's almost a repeat uh, almost a repeater and almost a radar. That four is the only one that stops it from being um, either or. And, but it is a binary or a trinary. One, two, three, the one, zero, and four. So it is. A, a, it does make make uh, qualify as a trinary. Then we got four four nine seven nine nine four four, one number off from being a radar. Had it been uh, four four nine 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 four four, it would have been a radar. And then this I kept because it is so close to the number I'm I'm trying to collect. Um, other than that, that's the only reason. Uh, 804, and I don't want to tell you what number I'm saving, uh, trying to find, because if I tell you, then you might find it and take it out of circulation, and I'll never find it. So, uh, moving on, uh, this one was 8040700, lots of sevens, or I'm sorry, no seven, zeros. Um, it's actually not a, a trinary, but it was just still cool to have, in my opinion. And then we got 2448, 6442. Again, one off from being a radar. Had that been a 6 or that been an 8, it would have been a radar. And then we got 44008822. Four doubles, um, which doesn't happen very often, so I thought that was kind of cool, so I decided to keep that one. And we got 77112273. Real close to another repeater. Uh, well, that I guess you could call that a repeater, but also uh, quad doubles. Uh, so close to that, a tri doubles. And then eight four four six six four four eight, a true repeater. As you can see, the numbers you read them backward or forward, it's the same way, same thing. Eight four four six six four four eight, eight four four six six four four eight. So be very first repeat uh, radar I found and then this one I just like the way it looked six 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 nine zero zip sorry six 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 zero nine 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 eight um, not almost almost a uh, trinary and uh, but still cool to look at then I found one with five sixes four two one six 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 then five starting with five sevens seven 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 six five nine and then four six five sixes in it four one six 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 nine and that's it for the for these ones this little envelope here and then I am on the hunt for any any cereal that's that goes from one to eight just like that one two three four five six seven eight almost gave myself a paper cut there the closest I've been so far is one two three four seven eight nine zero one two three four five one six six so I'm within three digits on this one and I almost got uh, like every single number but you can't fit five and six in the middle there so that one I thought was really cool because it even even has a zero at the end it's just missing the five and the six 
So those are some that I'm looking for. If I happen to find them, they'll go in this folder. If not, that's okay too. And then the last I have is uh, some older consecutive numbers or older consecutive bills, which are from 1977. And these are in crisp, crisp shape. How they made it from 1977 to today in this condition, I'll never understand. Um, because they're, they're, one, they're sequential, 82, 83, 84. And they are not bent. They're not, they're not anything. They're just like absolutely perfect. So I thought that was really cool. And I keep these as nice as I can, as careful as I can. Although I don't think they're worth anything more aside from the fact that they're from 77. But I do have, aside from that, this, this folder of 77s. These are um, 77 star note right off the top. I have not, that's one I haven't looked up the star note number to see if it's rare. I'll have to do that one of these days. But then all the rest of these are 77s. Um, they're not exactly sequential. They're just from 77 and they're really clean. Like they're, they're really, I should say those are the most cleanest. This one here has got a little edge, edge corner is a little messed up. Um, but yeah, these are basically brand new bills. I would say the, the worst of them would be the star note, unfortunately. It, it has been bent in the center. Um, let's see, that one has, yeah, that, those top ones, I'm trying to find them all. All the ones that have been folded. Yeah, like that one's been folded. Yeah. Um, okay, so these ones I must have found later on because these ones have been folded at some point in the center. You can tell they've been at least, like, maybe not that one. Um, okay, I was wrong on that one. Like, some of them have little, like, that one's got it. They got a little, little bend right in the center like somebody had folded it. Even if they lightly fold it, it still puts a crease there. So like all these must have came from the same stack, but I don't know where they came from. But they're all from 1977, and as you can see, they're in really good shape. Um, not sure why they were collected, just maybe because they were nice. So I just kind of keep, the, keep them together, keep them nice and clean. Keep them in the folder, and maybe one day they'll be worth something. If not, that, you know, whatever. They're only dollar bills. Um, and that's it for the dollar bills as far as this, this whole, this thing goes. I'm going to set it right there. Now for the main, the main part. I have some more, I, I guess you could say, uh, special ones. I'm not really sure why, but my father had some of these in the little plastic things, maybe because they were just silver certificates. Um, this one, this first one I noticed was off cut. As you can see, this, this gap over here is way more than this side. So this is probably, you know, was off, off sh shot. If I put it next to this one, you can tell quick, quite qu quickly. Um, the, this bottom one is from 35 Series F, and the top one is 35A. But just looking at them, they look like different, just a different type of uh, process used in a, in a little bit. But I think he kept this one because it had the offset cut. And I noticed that the green that these are printed on is way different than a, a typical bill. Um, again, you can see the back was misprinted quite a bit. It's way shifted over. Um, I'm kind of wondering if you guys have any miscut uh, bills, misprinted or whatever. <clears throat> Sorry. Then my favorite bill, I just have to say my set, my one of my two favorite bills of all time is my 
I think it's a 28. 28 Series B. Funny back. It is a uh, slightly off cut. Um, as you can see, this gap's a little bit bigger, but that's not the part that I think is awesome. It's the, the coloring on the back of it. It's absolutely beautiful. As you can see from the back, it's misprinted just by a little bit, but it's still very beautiful. And uh, this one is my second to most favorite. Not the most, not the rarest, but it's a little bit more rare, I think, than the uh, than the silver certificates, obviously, uh, um, in my opinion. And then I have some two dollar bill red red seals, which this one is missing the corner. And then uh, that's the back to another one. As you can tell, it almost looks like they they shrunk the image down and printed it too small. But it's a, another two dollar seal. This top one, or the the top one, is from '53. And where is that one? That one is night. This one's 1928. So you can see the far, far big difference in the way they were doing things. They switched the seals, got rid of the big word two, made it a little smaller, added a two over here. Um, so I thought those were kind of nice. Definitely cool to have. A uh, two dollar bill as old as my funny back. Um, and then a couple more. This is, I think, for 53. Yeah, 1953. And that is not, and obviously these, somebody else wrote numbers on top of there. Um, 53, and then another one from 53 with the corner missing again. Or not missing. Is it missing? Yeah, it's missing. I don't know if it's... Hold on, let me see. At first I thought it was, I thought it was cut off. That's kind of what it looks like, but then there's parts where it makes it look like it's been folded under and like pressed in there somehow. But that one's missing the corner. And I'm sorry about my, my camera. It is just going crazy with the focus. I'm going to have to look into a better camera for sure because this, this one just going crazy with focusing in and out. Uh, and then moving on to the better bills. As far as denomination, a $5.1953B, a 63, and this one is a 63. So 363s, let me see that corner is still there. It is. Let's bring that corner back up. Um, so one thing I do is I'll, I'll fix the corners. I don't like them being bent up underneath and, and looking like trash. <laughs> Uh, so those are my only red seal five dollar bills. Um, I don't think I have any like special serial numbers in any any of the the bills like this. I think they're all pretty much just standard serial numbers. Never really looked them up to see, but and uh, didn't really didn't really bother me to do so. Then my second favorite bill of all, the horse blanket, nineteen twenty eight, I believe. 23, 1923, one dollar bill. Can only imagine how big the wallets and purses were back then to, to accommodate such a big bill. Absolutely uh, gigantic, ginormous. But you can tell just by looking at this one that it's been folded at my thumbs, uh, folded here, here, and here. Somebody just folded it like crazy. Um, they just did not take care of this bill. You can, as soon as they touch it, it wants to fold like, like straight down the center. It wants to fold like that. Um, but to show you in comparison to a uh, standard bill, let me move this out of the way. For those of you that don't know how much bigger this bill is to a standard, there's the size difference. Hence why they call it the horse blanket. And if I was to set it on top of it, that's like way way bigger it almost looks like I'm doing a, a camera trick like let me see if I can get this five dollar bill just as big yep I can do it so but that, that's it for my my bills and uh, I do actually you know what yeah I'm gonna 
I have to run to do this because I don't know where the pause button is on this new, I'm using a new streaming software to record with, and I don't know where the pause button is. I wonder if I can pause this. No. Hmm, give me one second. thing the last thing I got when I was at the, I went to the bank to get a, a strap of bills I asked if they had any bills and the lady at the counter got extremely excited and I started getting excited because she got excited and I was like she goes oh, do you want some new bills and I was like what and she goes we just got brand new bills in and I said can I see them and she said sure so she brings me out three brand new stacks of one dollar bills and I've never had a brand new stack of one dollar bills but let me tell you these things are crisp and clean they smell amazing I don't know if you'd like the smell of money but I do and they're all in sequential order so 601 to 701 to 801 all the way down to um, 900 so 601 all the way to 900 so I thought that was kind of cool and uh, if I, if I ever really need to put some money in the bank, I have at least $300 here that I can do so. But uh, I thought I'd hold on to it. And uh, I'm hoping that I don't ever have to put it back in the bank because I can leave it to my kids. And you never know. The dollar bill could be worth so much more money just as a collector's item if, the, uh, if cryptocurrency ever takes over and we're left with a cashless society and people just use it for uh, souvenirs and collector's items and museum stuff and whatever. I don't see that happening, but um, I just thought it was fun to have some brand new bills. And these are all from 2017, so they fit in, and they're from Zone 4, which is what I'm collecting right now. And this is kind of what prompted that collection of all, all 2017s with the number 4 in the corners. So... Uh, but that's the end of this video. Uh, if you like if you like what you saw, please subscribe as it will help the channel out and uh, Hit that uh, Like button if you like the video and the bell icon if you do subscribe that way you get notified the next time I post videos and uh, But I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day